Llama Glamorama by Simon James Green. In Larry's barn, the llamas were good. They followed the rules and they did as they should. The llamas were calm and their voices stayed low. They made their way slowly wherever they'd go. Yes, Larry was proper and very polite, but he had a big secret that happened at night. He kept it all quiet to avoid any drama. But while the others all slept, he was... A toe tapping, hand clapping, dazzling, dancing llama. He loved to twist, he stamped his feet, he kept in time with the techno beat. But llamas aren't supposed to dance. Have you ever seen one groove? If anybody saw his moves, they would surely disapprove. Uh oh, someone's coming. Stop the music, hide the hat. Jump in bed and pretend to nap. We heard music, Spritz said. We heard some rhythmic tapping. It almost sounded like a dance, but that would never happen. What? No way, Larry said. I was just about to snooze. Spritz looked over at the bedpost. Do you have ballet shoes? Uh, shoes, you say? That can't be. I've been using these for drinking tea. But you don't like tea. Oh, look, by that chair. Are those apples over there? And while the others turned away, Larry made his getaway. As he trudged down the lane, Larry was sad. Being different was lonely and being different felt bad. None of his friends liked to shimmy and flit. Maybe the dance was a thing he should quit. What's this? A carnival, music, free apples? Farewell, my friends, I bid adieu. I'm going far away. Please don't try to stop me. I won't be back today. In fact, he was only going down the road and would definitely be back by bedtime. There in the distance, bold colours, bright lights. For a lonely young llama, a spectacular sight. Larry took a deep breath and joined in the crowd. He saw llamas dancing and the music was loud. He grooved and he moved, he leapt and he pranced. Salsa, flamenco, did he belly dance? Locking and popping, he loved the hip hopping. Flossing and tango, the jive and the fandango. He ate apples all day and met Lama Del Rey. Loved hearing her sing. He felt like a king. Larry was happy. There were others like him. The Lama Glamorama was a wonderful thing. He returned to the barn later that day. Listen up, friends, I've something to say. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm taking a chance. I hope you won't hate me, but I love to dance. Spritz raised an eyebrow and Patch seemed to frown. Uh-oh, thought Larry. I'll have to leave town. Then Spritz started giggling and Patch cracked a smile while Mop began clapping for quite a long while. It turned out that each was a bit different too. Patch's patch was just hair dye really, it's true. Spritz then revealed he played the maracas and Mop told the group 
he was an alpaca. Everyone acted surprised, but they had suspected that for a while. Larry showed his moves and all four danced with glee. He sang, I'm a rooting, tooting, locking, popping, grooving, moving llama and I'm proud to be me.